f f f feminism. Today, I want to look at my life as a father and a husband through the lens of trying to be a feminist ally. It's been difficult to accurately capture and explain all my thoughts, um, the essence of which is this. When it comes to being a father and a husband, I'm a shitty feminist. Shitty, shitty feminist, This is my wife, Juliana. She's warm, smart, beautiful, silly, loving, thoughtful, nurturing, super organized, and here's a big one. She challenges me. She pushes me every single day to be a better person. So the idea for this video came indirectly from her. Our son Jupiter was a month or two old. There was this movie that I really wanted to see. I can't even remember what it was. But I was on my way home from running and I called to ask Juliana if it'd be all right if I went to this movie. She said yes, but when I got home afterwards, we had a big fight. She told me I wasn't pulling my weight. She was physically attached to Jupiter at this point, nursing him constantly. She didn't have the luxury of choice about her obligations, but I did cleaning, cooking, making money, changing diapers, feeding him a bottle. I could choose to do all these things, pulling my weight, or you know, I could choose to go for a run and then go to a movie. Feminism is about equality, and in that moment I was being the opposite of a feminist. Shitty, shitty feminist, ooh. As we talked about it, I vowed to step up and be better. And while I've never done that exact same thing again, Variations on this issue have come up somewhat regularly ever since. I'll give you another example. Julian is a front-end web developer and works from home Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and at the office the other two days. I work from home in my studio basically all the time, except when I'm traveling, which this year has been every few months. We have some form of childcare help in the morning on most days. When Julian is at work, I watch Jupiter in the afternoon, and when she's at home, we try to split up the rest of the childcare time. With this routine, this groove established, we ended up having a series of fights about how we split up the rest of that time we needed to take care of Jupiter. Over the course of these fights, it slowly dawned on me that my brain had constructed this hierarchy that I was operating under. It looked like this. My work, baby care, her work. Shitty, shitty feminist, I had this default assumption that my work would take precedence and she just watched the baby all day, regardless of what kind of work task she needed to complete. We had a particularly big fight about it around the time I was writing lots of songs about Gamergate. I was being praised online for being this great ally while completely failing to be one where it clearly mattered the most in a very real and immediate way. Great ally my ass, said my wife. Just like the going to the movies instead of pulling my weight situation, I'm much better now about respecting her work time. But as I've thought about it and talked with Juliana and other moms and dads, I've noticed a thousand little ways in which I'm not being the best ally that I can be. My wife calls it household management. The endless little things that have to happen to keep a home clean, fed, happy, healthy, and safe. We both work full time, but she takes on way more than her fair share of these duties. And the truth is, she is better at them. She really is. From cooking, to cleaning, to anticipating Jupiter's needs, she's just better. There are some things that I'm just better at that I take care of, but if you made a list of everything she has to take care of and everything that I have to take care of, it's not even close. And her being better at these things does not excuse the uneven contribution. I'm a grown ass man and I'm fully capable of taking on way more than I do, improving as I go. We both have these deeply ingrained ideas and attitudes about our roles in this marriage. And sure, some of them are biological. I'm not gonna breastfeed my son. But many, the majority, are cultural and can be challenged and even changed. One need only to look at Scandinavian countries like Norway. Fathers there get 14 paid weeks of paternity leave and are encouraged in myriad other ways, large and small, to take a very active role in parenting. As a result, many tasks and duties we normally associate as being under a mother's purview are enthusiastically taken on by the papas. I find this incredibly inspiring and encouraging. I want our partnership to be more equal, and the only way that's going to happen is if I continually challenge some of those deep-rooted notions, and if I start taking on a bunch more of the responsibilities that have defaulted to her shoulders. Now I can tell you right now that the thought of actually following through and doing that feels like a gigantic ball of stress. So I know it's not gonna be easy, but I'm putting this video out in the hopes that somebody watching it who might be dealing with the same kind of issues will resonate. I know that every family situation, every marriage is just completely different and there are no one size fits all answers. Answers is probably even the wrong word because figuring this stuff out, just like with any part of any relationship, is an ongoing process that just has to be continually checked in on and talked about. All that being said, here's a few things that have worked for us so far. Number one, 
Try to be open to hearing about what's not working. If my wife hadn't let me know what wasn't working for her, I honestly wouldn't have noticed. I was in a state of ignorance. And while my first reaction and maybe even my second reaction was to get defensive, once I actually listened to what she was telling me about all the myriad things she does around the house, I started to see things differently. Number two, delegate the household responsibilities together. It's been really true in our relationship that unless we've had an explicit conversation about who is responsible for what when it comes to household and family management, Juliana will just take it all on almost automatically. So, you know, we started having conversations about who would take on what. We've actually ended up at a pretty far extreme with something called a Kanban board. It's post-it notes and categories and it's a whole big thing, but actually I really like it. One aspect that's been super helpful is that we can both clearly see exactly what each of us needs to get done over the course of a week, both at home and at work. And that makes it a whole lot easier to delegate. Number three, weekly date night. This may seem like a non sequitur, but I'm telling you, sometimes you just need to put all that other stuff out of your mind and just focus on each other. More than anything else, especially when, when dealing with all of this, it's been the times that we've just grounded ourselves back into our relationship that have really made it possible for us to forge ahead in figuring out our home life. My wife had the idea of documenting the ups and downs of this part of our marriage, and so we've actually made a podcast. We're limiting it to five or six episodes for now. I think you really enjoy it. She's not super comfortable being on camera, but this way you can hear this all from her perspective and not have to just listen to me blather about it forever. And you know, we'd love to hear from other moms and dads and couples who might be struggling with some of the same kind of issues. Leave a comment, send an email, let us know how it's going for you. Finally, this video, just like all my videos and all my songs, has been made possible in part by my Patreon supporters. In addition to just helping me make my videos and my songs, every Monday I write a blog post available pretty much only to my Patreon subscribers. The script for this video, as I was sort of trying to work through it, started out as a blog post um, to them, and I got a lot of good feedback and it really helped me sort of shape my ideas about this video. So if you like what I do online, please consider supporting me on an ongoing basis. You can do it for as little as 25 cents a week, dollar a month, really appreciate it, and thanks.